Okay, YouTube. I just want to first thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. And I want to welcome everybody to our new uh, naturally made products, especially the new uh, natural deodorant. I also want to thank all of the natural hair sites that have liked us and made reviews for us. And just want to let you know that we really appreciate it. Okay, so what we want to talk about today is shedding after your braids. Uh, everybody has a uh, issue with shedding. Uh, to understand how many uh, strands of hair you should shed after your uh, braiding treatment or your twist treatment. Uh, the first thing I want to let everybody know is that shedding is perfectly natural and you should be shedding. Uh, a healthy head of hair sheds between 40 and 100, 120 um, strands of hair every single day. So if you uh, get a correct uh, installment of your braids that's uh, appropriately tight, um, not overly tight, um, you will be able to have the healthy amount of shedding and that's okay. Uh, what happens is uh, our hair sheds every day. Uh, the plaits that I have in right now, I've had in... Um, well, when I get ready to take them out, I'll have them in about 90 days. Uh, I, I'm not going to take them out for a couple of more weeks, and I will show you the huge um, ball of hair that is going to come out when I detangle it. Um, <clears throat> if I shed on the low side, which is about 40 strands of hair per day, then um, that will be about 3,600 uh, strands of hair that will come out of my head. Uh, if I shed on the high side, 100 strands a day, then that's about 9,000 uh, strands of hair. But if you look in my scalp, like these are pretty old, so they're especially like here. And you see how it's puffy here? Most of that uh, puffiness is, is shedded hair. Uh, what people do not understand is that the longer you leave your braids in, the shedded hair strands don't have anywhere to go. So when you take your braids out, all of that shedding uh, has accumulated. And so therefore, it has to come out when you detangle your hair. So the most important thing is to keep your hair, keep your scalp moisturized and conditioned throughout your braiding um, treatment, however long you decide to leave it in. Uh, here at Hair by Shell, we only recommend that you leave it in um, a little over six weeks, six, seven, eight weeks. That's probably enough. Unfortunately uh, for me, I don't have a whole lot of time to do that every uh, six weeks. So I tend to leave mine in uh, a little longer and I let them get pretty rough before I take them out because it takes me a couple days to um, plait my hair. But after six weeks, uh, you, we're looking at about 45 days. Um, you take that and multiply it by your uh, shedding, your normal shedding, which is between 40 and uh, 100 strands per day. And you'll see that your shedding is probably pretty normal if you had uh, an appropriate installation of your braids or twists. Um, some people believe that the shedding is hair is that your hair is falling out. Your hair is not falling out, especially if you began with a healthy head of hair or you were in transition. Um, anything below the demarcation line or above the demarcation line to your scalp should be just fine. Now, if you look at your scalp and you see um, anything other than parts, like you see, you know, uh, breakage or you see ball spots or or something you know, of that nature, then <clears throat> there may be a problem. Uh, you may be suffering from some sort of um, pattern baldness, or you may be suffering from uh, alopecia or something of that sort, which you will need to uh, consult your doctor for that. Um, if you don't have anything as extreme as that, then you shouldn't be concerned. Uh, what I do, I wash my hair. Um, just simply by putting uh, some conditioner, uh, clarifying conditioner, in water. 
and spraying my scalp, rubbing the pads of my fingers um, along the parts, and then just rinsing with um, warm or hot water. Um, be careful if you have long braids because water weight is a lot of weight on your hair. So dry your hair um, up. So put the towel up and dry your crunch, scrunch your hair to get the uh, excess water out. You don't want to get out and, you know, let that water be in your hair because it's going to put excess weight on your um, your roots. So we don't want to do that. Um, what I do to condition <coughs> afterwards, I use our um, Dr. Shell's moisturizer and conditioner. I put that on my scalp. And that's just um, how it looks. Um, and what this is made of is shea butter and coconut oil and um, aloe vera oil. So um, that is what I use to condition my scalp. Very, very lightly. Uh, you don't want product to build up, especially if you're going to wear your braids uh, for a long period of time. And I just do that after I uh, wash my hair. Uh, some of our clients do not wash their hair as long as it's up in braids, which is fine, but you don't need to leave it up, you know, for 12 weeks if you're not going to wash it. We don't want uh, fungus and different things to grow on our scalp. <clears throat> also, every other day or so, I use my um, anti-breakage uh, serum, my growth serum uh, that we make here in our lab. Uh, at Heaven Scent Perfume and here by Dr. Shell. And that has a, a lot of essential oils in it, avocado oil, coconut oil, uh, castor oil, black castor oil, uh, some vitamin E um, in that. And that also protects your, your hair follicles and it stimulates your hair follicles as well so that it will um, help your hair to grow. And just a little dab on your finger, uh, put it especially around my edges and around the nape of my neck uh, because that is where my, my plaits are the thinnest. So um, I do that and then every few days I'll put it all over and um, that is how uh, I keep my scalp and my roots moisturized and conditioned. So basically I just want to let everybody know, especially my customers already know, that uh, the shedding is normal. And you shouldn't be overly concerned about it unless you see hair damage. Um, if your hair is shedding, uh, what a lot of people do not realize is that means that your hair is growing. Because the old uh, hair is coming out, the new hair is coming in. So uh, we like to see normal, healthy shedding. So uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to take these plaits out. And I'm going to uh, add to this video uh, the amount of hair that I have uh, shed it. So until next time, I hope uh, this was informative and that you can uh, relieve some of the stress as you're taking out your braids. Uh, I do also want to add that when you're taking your braids out, it shouldn't be a quick and, and snatchy kind of process. Um, I use, uh, sometimes I use an ink pen, sometimes I use a uh, uh, rat tail comb, um, you know, and I just take my flats out um, from the bottom and I just go through each loop and uh, loosen it up and then the hair just comes right out. Um, if they were installed properly, that should not be a problem. Um, also, uh, some of the hair, because I use uh, kinky hair in my hair and I like to use kinky hair on my clients because it looks more natural. Um, you will still have some of the some of the um, hair may uh, stay in your hair, so and that's going to look like it's more shedding, but it's not. Um, you have to learn the difference between your natural hair and what the kinky hair looks like, um, which is very similar, so it's hard to do. Uh, but <clears throat> just take your braids out very slowly, or go back to your stylist and have them to take them out for you. Um, if your stylist seems like, you know, she's in a hurry or he's in a hurry, um, then just do it yourself. Take your time. Uh, with these uh, short flats that I have, it'll probably take me about three hours to take them out if I just sit and take them out, you know, all at once. Usually what I do, I'll take some out, do something else, take some out, do something else, because it will take about three hours to take them out. 
So, um, and that time is, is well worth it because you don't want to snatch and pull on your hair, especially when it gets very loose because it is putting some more weight on your roots. So you want to be very, very careful not to pull it and uh, snatch the, um, the extension hair out of your hair. So hopefully that was all informative. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And I answer all emails, uh, all comments. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we have some very informative uh, videos uh, for you to, to look at uh, from Heaven Scent Perfume and also uh, from Hair by Dr. Shell. So I am Dr. Shell and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.